crispy critters. Fine, my love. We've handled worse. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pull yourself together. You have to follow this path first. You need to stabilize yourself. The Voshod module doesn't help with that anymore. But that's all the better for us, right? Wonderful. Find somewhere a bit quieter. I'll explain everything then. See the little house up ahead? We can talk there. The important thing is that you listen to me and everything will be okay. I'm a pro here. Mm -hmm. Soon your memories will start coming back and you'll fully acclimate to this world. Then we'll find a way out together. You had a Voshod module installed into your head, remember? That contraption can plunge you into limbo, and it also blocked your memory. Yes, not any specific memories about me, though it blocks those too. It keeps you from remembering who you were before Bulgaria. Since Cheriton Radionovich no longer controls the Voshod, you'll get back to being yourself soon, and then you'll get out of limbo and help me, okay? This way you'll get to the depths of your consciousness, and we can start climbing toward the exit from there. I want to ask you something. When you get out of limbo, please find what remains of the robot twin, and find the rings you had to throw away. We can use them to disappear from the collective site forever. Of course, you got it right. I'm Blesna, Katya Nichayeva. By the way, in case the Voshod wiped this out too, have no doubt, it's me, your wife. Uh -huh. Anyway, I'm not just a piece of polymer. Dr. Sechenov calls this form Teardrop. I'm officially the first recon officer in the unnatural world. In general, I have a lot to be proud of, but the thing is, I really want to get out of this place. In some sense, we both died there in Bulgaria in 52, and there's no doubt they saved us, but they started using us for their own purposes, both in reality and limbo. Alpha, you did it! <laughs> Crispy critters. Two things. I remember everything, and I'm not your love. Crispy crit... what? Let's admit that we're both monsters created in Facility 3826 Labs. We need each other, but there's been no us for three years. So I'm sorry, honey. Wh why Shouldn't you stay here a bit longer to help you remember everything? Just facts. I see. But we're going up to get out of limbo, right? Right? Where are we? It could drive you limb bonkers. Just get out of here and find me in the rings, okay? That's the plan. Sorry. I, uh, I'm no longer used to all this mushy tenderness. Yeah? Well, then here's the deal. Get yourself together and beat it to the exit. Got it? Huh. There you go. Okay, limb bonkers is funny. <laughs> Such an nice body isn't there. I shot him. I didn't mean to. I swear. Technically, you shot, but it was actually Cheriton Radionovich. Holy shit, Charles. Yes, more accurately. You probably haven't seen it, but Charles has seized control of the array, the Jellyman. 
Though killing Dr. Sechenov personally was a fatal mistake. That scumbag killed him? Technically, yes. But we already know that everything the Array touches becomes part of it. Or did I not tell you that yet? Huh? Katya! Hey! Since we're climbing to the top, your memory will start coming back even faster. You may even find whole pieces of it. Huh. How would I find them? Look for shells. It's just like chirpers. You put them to your ear and the ocean sings to you. I don't know. It's your perception, not mine. For me, it was birds that brought me letters with notes from the past. There was a lot in them. School, the ballet, our wedding. I didn't lose those memories, but it was nice to hear them again. The Collective hasn't been launched yet. The soldiers are trying to figure out what happened, but of course they haven't found Sechenov's body. I'm sure everything will be fine soon. Dr. Sechenov won't let this Charles win. Not in his own array, and certainly not in Limbo. If the Jelly Man swallowed Dr. Sechenov's body, then Sechenov should also be around here. Not exactly, but it'll be easier for Dr. Sechenov to get here. He looked into Limbo through the waves of my beacons, but he doesn't need a medium now. And he'll focus on us soon, once he deals with Charles. Yeah, but will he? I remember now. He was talking to me in Limbo, something like, you're a warrior of science, take up your sword of knowledge and strike at the very heart of the capitalist bureaucracy at some nonsense. Nonsense? Hardly. Of course, warrior of science is pushing it with your crispy crittering, but things happen for a reason with such an off. Actually, it's more likely that Cheriton Radionovich's mind has been held hostage all these years by this creature. And there's the question of who exactly Sechenov was communicating with. Similar feces. That's not what I asked. What? Isn't it all the same shit, Katya? Charla, Sechenov, all they do is manipulate people. Did you not hear me or did I not tell you yet? No, Sechenov saved us. How you and I are alive, it's just a new frontier of science. I don't consider myself a monster. You either. But the part of the brain the neuropolymer replaces should already be filled with something. Easy. <laughs> All right, agreed. I don't know or remember much. Let's talk when we're out of here, okay? Hey, fairy dragonfly, what am I winning? I'm just climbing step after step. What opponent? <laughs> I haven't heard that name in ages. Climbing step by step is a good approach to the matter, but you're not climbing physically. Your mind is returning to its original state. Well, to childhood, no thanks. I was dumb and stubborn. That's definitely still the case. No, not to childhood. I'll try to open the way before you start babbling and asking for a nipple. Feisty, I like it. Finally not honey or love. Who will I have to face? Well, um, yourself. Like I said. How can Granny Zena get in here? From a copy of Dr. Sechenov's data. She managed to find out a lot. She's the head of comms, after all. So she knows about Atomic Heart. You should focus on what's ahead. Well, this is the last safe area. Soon, all your memories will come screeching back. Shame for what you don't remember, the fear of consequences. You'll have to deal with those emotions. Technically, it's even useful as a preventative measure, although it's not always pleasant. Adults come up against this from time to time. You're treating me like a kid. You'll get out and find yourself in Cello May. We're close now. Act according to the situation. The important thing is that you find the rings. Yeah. I'm serious, Sergei. Deal? Seems I even remember how pretty you are when you're angry. Stop it, I swear. Katya, deal. Just one last thing. Forgive me. In Bulgaria, I should have gotten you out. Alive. Not Kuznetsov. And not two corpses. Just hang on, Katya, okay?
We'll get through this together. Now the rings. 